Welcome back to another Vintage Cube, everybody. Here we are, still still trying to get a couple more in before the uh, season ends. And here's our first pack, no power this time. A couple of interesting options. We have Watery Grave, nice little duel. Uh, Cryptic Command and Narset, nice blue cards. You could take Karn, but I don't think that's the way I would go typically. And then the Fetch is not blue, so not quite as good. I just start with the land here. Uh, I like Cryptic and Narset well enough, but... Hmm, excuse me. Uh, the uh, Water Grave just keeps us the most flexible here. I think it's good. Cryptic can be pretty difficult to cast a lot of the time, and eh, Narset's good, but I don't know that it's better than just taking a good solid land here. Well, now I wish I had picked it, because Time Twister's a nice follow-up. Uh, but... Given that I didn't, is that still the pick? Or would I rather have Metamorph, Spell Pierce, Teferi's pretty good, though it is of course five mana, which makes it less good. Basically, there's no shortage of good five mana plays in cube, you know? And Teferi is uh, near the top of the list, but still. The fact that it's five mana. Uh, mm, this is rough, man. I wish I had picked that Narsid, but here we are. I'll just take Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce is a pretty nice interactive card. Uh, I think it's a little bit better than Metamorph, though. I, I could be convinced otherwise. I could see I could see an argument for Metamorph here as well. All right. Nothing particularly strong here. I'll probably just take another blue duel. Uh, my alternatives are like Freebooter. There's another piece of... Uh, Interaction, which you know wouldn't be bad. Like Spell Pierce Freebooter is a nice start to a little uh, disruptive deck. Uh, Mystical Tutor is okay if you get some combos going. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll just take the duel here. We don't know what we're doing yet, so having just a bunch of duels is great. All right. Uh, oof. So I count on this wheeling. I think I had this uh, last draft or the draft before that. I had the exact same situation where I had Tinker and both sit on the same pack. I think I go for it here. Uh, last time I didn't go for it. It was it was kind of late in the draft. We weren't really set up. But early in the draft, yeah, I'll take a Tinker and then hope hope the Citadel here wheels. But even if it doesn't, there's other targets. Uh, I am giving up a remand, which is not a small price to pay, but I think it's worth it. People really shouldn't want uh, Citadel without Tinker. It's not a very castable card. Uh, man, none of this really does it. I could take Rafelos. It's a pretty late one, which tells me green's likely to be open. Or I could take Tundra to just continue taking random blue lands until we find some direction. But I've seen a couple of decent green cards pass by, and uh, the fifth pick Rafelos is a pretty strong signal, so I'm going to grab it here. Doesn't necessarily go with Tinker, but that's okay. We can pivot here. Uh, if we end up not using Tinker, I'll, I'll be missing it pretty heavily over taking the remand, but it's all right. Uh, okay. So this is between Nissa and Gilded Lotus, probably. None of the rest of these cards are that amazing that they would want to make me switch into a different color. And neither of these is great. Lotus, tinkering out a Lotus isn't exactly where you want to be. Um, I guess I'll just take Nissa. It's like fine. I've never been sad playing a Nissa, but I've never been excited about it. Uh, I'll probably take Shark Typhoon here. It's a solid little, uh, it's a little card. Get you, a, get you a flyer, draws you a card, and you know if you happen to have a bunch of mana worth for fellows, the flyer can be a legitimate threat. I think it's a bit better than Trigon. Uh, Gonti also an interesting one. We do have some black options already, but I like Typhoon here. I uh, don't think I'm going to go for Eureka here. I could take Sword. We can tinker, tinker it away, and we're going to probably have some creatures. And this is, this is one of the better Swords in the cube, I think. Uh, getting a discard and a land on tap is a pretty powerful effect, so I, I don't mind that. All right, this is between the Range Hermit and Bob here. The range charm is good if we get exactly opposition. Otherwise, I'm not really a huge fan of the card. Um, Bob's just a solid little value card. Can go nicely with the sword. I think I'm actually going to take it. We have a black splash already, and we're still not 100% to be green. We're likely to get there, but we're, we're not 100% locked. 
of these cards really do anything as far as our deck here. Um, like I'll take the Atarka, I guess. I don't know. It's fine. All right, I'll take a Badlands here. It doesn't really do anything yet, but none of these other cards do either, and this could help us with potential fetching. Okay, Selesnya Signet with Tinker is like sort of a thing. If we don't play green, it's a little awkward because it's actually is not in any of our colors, but let's grab it for now. Uh, I don't love Cruise, but I'm not taking the white cards. Uh, I'll take a Ravages. There's a chance we play this. All right, so we didn't wheel much in green, so somebody moved in uh, past us, I imagine. Uh, also, the Citadel didn't wheel, which is a bit of a bummer. So we're kind of torn in a few different directions here. Okay, well, I'm going to be taking Oko because that card's busted. Uh, so that, that makes me a lock to play these two colors, I think. Oko's just too strong to, to pass up, but it doesn't necessarily dictate the direction our deck has to take. It just means we're playing green and blue. Um, but yeah, getting getting an Oko into play generally wins you most games, so happy to grab that one. Well, there's the opposition. Uh, there's also a channel. It's actually not clear to me which is better here. We're going to already be looking for stuff to tinker out, so like channel sort of fits in that sense. Um, yeah, had we taken the Hermit, I would be slamming this opposition. As is, I'm like kind of tempted by this channel. It's still early enough. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go for channel. If, if we miss, miss on tinker, that's fine. I'm already going to want a mana base that can support Rafellos, so I think having uh, having channel is pretty nice here. Okay, a couple of decent options here. I think Krasis, Time Warp, and Acidic Slime are all reasonable. Krasis with channel is kind of cute. You can spend a lot of your life and then get half it back. Uh, time Warp's pretty good when you have stuff like Planeswalker, is good with Sword. Uh, and then Acidic Slime is just obviously a nice disruptive element. Can wear a sword, which is eh, maybe not that relevant. I think I might take Time Warp and hope one of these two wheel, but we'll see, I guess. All right, here I could take Grim Monolith or Corsair are both respectable. Gruel Signet, also not bad. Uh, it's another thing that we can tinker away if we find a target for that. The Monolith's probably the better of these two if we're, if we're doing that. I think that's probably going to be better in Corsair. Let's grab a monolith here. Uh, it's, oof, it's a rough pack. Primus, not a combo with Channel or Tinker. Though it's kind of nice to ramp into. Fumarole, we're not playing any red cards. Don't really want these double black cards. I don't really want a Gita. It's an okay sideboard card against other creature decks, but otherwise it's pretty poor. I think I take it over Primus, even though it's just going straight in the sideboard, but obviously not excited about that one. Well, another unexciting pack. These have not been great past the first few here. Uh, I could take Hallowed Fountain. We don't have a white blue duel yet, so it sort of does something. Conjecture is not really a thing. I mean, it's cute with Time Warp. You can take two turns, but I think it's a little too slow. Yeah, I'll just take the duel here. There's so many fetches now that do stuff. Uh, almost any fetch is like gonna get us something we need. Oh my gosh, these have been so bad. There's just nothing here. It, like I'll take a duress, I guess. If our fixing is good enough, I would play it. But this is not where I want to be. Okay, Sundering Titan's fine. That one I can channel or tinker or just ramp into. Those are all good. We'll take Sundering. Uh, I'm not gonna take. I'm probably not gonna play Ravages here. Let me get that one out of here. Uh, I could take Relic as another Tinker option that you know you can just cycle away and it's like fairly free. I think it's better than any of these other options, I'm sure, because we're not doing much with our own graveyard, so that seems okay. It's a bit of a confused deck at the moment. I will say that. Okay, well, the other sword wheel, this one I don't like as much, but I'll take it over these other options and just put in the sideboard, I think. Didn't wheel anything we wanted out of this pack. Is there any way this is a workshop deck? 
workshop sword of body and mind is not exactly a combo. Uh, could be an Omnath deck in some universe. Sure. And right, I'll take Cosima. This has not paid off. Green is getting cut hard. We should get reward in pack three, though. I think green was open from that side. But this is rough right now. Uh, all right, this one looks fine. I'm calling this a four drop because it makes my curve look better. Wow, that's a disrespectful Skyclave Apparition. This card's very good. I'm um, not going to play it, but I will take it here. Like Chain Lightning, too. Um... We have a little bit of white. I'll get, I don't know. Sure. And I'm burning. Okay. Our deck needs a lot of help. There's a lot of cards in our sideboard and not a lot in our main deck. I don't like that. Uh, well, I'll take Ancestral here. If the Blade Steel wheels, I'm into that. Could splash a Leo. I would love this Misty for us. This would be so, so good. But unfortunately, well, fortunately, we, we get an Ancestral. But uh, unfortunately, that means I don't get to probably pick up this Misty because the chances that wheels are pretty slim. Yeah, so far this look, the deck looks like it's going to have to play some stinkers here just to kind of fill out our curve. Okay. Not an incredible pack, but there's some stuff here. Elves is a little piece of acceleration. That's okay. Witness, good with Ancestral. Okay with Time War if you have a lot of mana. Uh, there's also just Ashiok if we're already splashing random Planeswalkers. Well, this one's not a splash, I guess, but if we're already splashing black... I think Ashrock might just be the pick. It's like pretty strong, honestly. Uh, I'm still still just never going to see a dual end that helps us. Getting all the like red duels. The color we're the furthest away from playing. I mean, I think a Miscalcure card's good, but it doesn't really... Like, it's not what we're looking for, even though it's a good card, obviously. Okay, well, I'll take Upheaval. Uh... For another fetch, this is brutal, but uh, channel upheaval is actually a real combo, and then um, we just have some ramp between Rafellos, Selesnya Signet, Grim Monolith, and uh, not Sword of Feast and Famine so much, I guess, but uh, I, I think I have to take upheaval here. If they have Phasmon wield, that would be incredible. Okay, that's an incredibly late mana drain. Fifth pick mana drain, it's just no one playing blue. All right, well, I'll take it. Uh, I would like Worn Power Stone or Ugin. They would both be fine with our channel and stuff, but <clears throat> uh, I'm not going to pass busted blue cards, I'll tell you that much. Okay, this pack's interesting. Uh, Jace, Phantasmal, Preordain, and Garrick are all reasonable. I think Garrick's the weakest of that bunch. Uh, Phantasmal doesn't look incredible in the deck either. I think it's between these two. Jace has the upside of being able to flashback Ancestral Recall, which might just be good enough. Uh, Preordain's great, but I think I'll take the Jace here. They can wear a sword in a pinch, too, which is kind of fun. All right, this is probably Kozilek. Um, it's not the best channel target, but we're running out of time to get some, so... Uh, I'll grab it here. I think it's better than Consecrated Sphinx and another sword. Seems all right. Another duel doesn't help us. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, none of these cards are I'm going to play. I'll just take the only blue card. Okay, there's the Blight Steel. I will take it. I think that's better than Inkwell because I can channel it out. Uh, I think I'd rather have Elves than Batter Skull. And then do I want a Lodestone Golem? Not especially. I guess I'll take Wall of Blossoms. I can I can play that in a pinch. So our fixing's not amazing. We have two duels, but uh, we could use a little more because we're trying to play Channel and our Fellows, and then also like Mana Drain. So it's going to be a little bit tough. If any of the fetches wield, that would be incredible, but I find it unlikely. People have really started taking fixing aggressively, I feel like. Uh, is Fauna Shaman good? If we have channel, it lets us cycle one of these, uh, like, some crappy for a good thing. Yeah, I mean, I'll take it. I don't know that it makes it in the deck, but it's okay.
think it's Power Stone. I really like Cloud Skate too, but given that we have uh, upheaval now, I, I do want this bust another Tinker thing. These cards don't do anything. So that was a nice wheel. Uh, again, not not the fetch lands, but it's still pretty good. And Beast Within, yeah, sure. Probably won't play it, but that's okay. So I think we made it there on playables at least. Duress is probably not getting in there. We're going to try to be pretty light on the black. Um, maybe we even cut the black entirely. It's for Dark Confound Ashiok. I mean, they're both good cards, but Dark Confound, I guess, when you're running Blight, Steel Colossus, Kozilek, and Sundry Titan does get a lot worse. Uh, so then it'd just be for Ashiok. Let's see, if I cut all these lands, how many playables am I looking at? It's 24. Yeah, it's probably better to just not make my mana worse here. Like, I have the Watery Grave, but I'd rather just be able to play more basics uh, here and get, get a little bit better. So we got these three. Two of them can be tinkered. All three of them can be channeled. I don't hate that. We can potentially mana drain into the cheaper ones as well. All seems good. Relic, not a standout, but it's mostly there to support Tinker. We got Grim Monolith, Selesnya Signet, Sword Power Stone Oko. This counts as a five drop, basically. This can fill the curve wherever, and this kind of goes up here as well. Maybe we have one too many like big things. Maybe I don't need the Kozilek, but it's pretty good. I think I'll keep it. So, like the fact that these double as uh, channel and tinker targets makes them quite a bit better than Kozilek, who is only playable off of channel or just getting insane amounts of mana. But my next cards down just aren't that strong. It's like Wall of Blossoms, Cosima, Treasure Cruise, and Sword of Body and Mind or something. That doesn't excite me very much. So I'll keep it like this. Um, then let's put in our solitary breeding pool and see where we get from there. Once nine blue, seven green. So we have one green signet, I believe. Uh, and that's it for our colored sources. Our elves of deep shadow make black mana awkwardly. Oh wait, fauna shaman still in the deck. Do I want fauna shaman in the deck? What does it do? How many creatures do they even have? I have eight creatures. Hmm. Maybe that one's not that good. Maybe it's just worse than a wall of blossoms. Maybe I'd rather just draw a card. That might be true. Don't know about Cosima so much. Yeah, I think I'll just play Wall of Blossoms. It's okay. The Wall of Blossoms can't wear a sword. That's the only problem with it. Eh, all right, fine. I'll try Cosima. I don't love it, but it's fine. All right, now it's even more blue, but I actually want more green, I think. This is 24, so I get 16, right? Um, just because Rafelos is kind of a big deal. But we'd have Mana Drain, we have Upheaval obviously needs double blue, and we'd have that one Signet that fixes for green a little bit. Nissa gets a second green once you get one, which is a big deal. I guess we'll just go down the middle here and call it a day. So our mana's trash. Uh, our deck's okay. It didn't like all the way get there. We just didn't ever wheel any of the stuff we needed to. We felt like a couple of people were uh, moving in on green after seeing it open in pack one, maybe. But, you know, we can do some stuff. We have uh, we have an Ancestral Recall that we can flash back with Jace. That's pretty cool. We have a couple of counter spells. We have a quick tinker potential for some pretty busted stuff between Sundering and Blightsteel. Getting a, out of quick Oko is really insane. Channel's great. And then, then we also have a Cosima. It exists. So, all right. All right, welcome to the game. This hand, not going to cut it. I'm going to mulligan this. Okay, that's better. Um, I guess I put back Shark Typhoon. It's a little bit weird. I don't know if I should lead on green or blue, but either way, I think... Well, if I'm going to lead on blue anyway, I could just cut the Rafellos. Have the Shark Typhoon around. Nah, that can't be right. Let, let's do this. We'll see what we're playing against. Library? Okay, well, that's not great. 
Makes me want to go green first then, try to get off to a quick start rather than uh, try and fight them with the spell peers. They're just going to have enough cards that it won't matter that much. Looks like, why are they casting here? They're just going to play a land every time. Let's go Rafelos. I don't know what we can really ramp into here exactly, but it's okay. You probably want a library first, their opponent. Yeah. All those could be a. Ah, it's just a pyroclasm. Okay, that's fine. Secretly, we don't actually care about that. Well, now that we drew upheaval, we kind of do, but. Uh, Oko is still a pretty messed up card, so hopefully it can win the game for us here. But Library of Alexandria, definitely good. Although Upheaval, also a nice way to kind of reset a library. Um, all the card advantage in the world doesn't matter when they all just end up in your hand at the end there. But yeah, we need to draw something. Like this Spell Pierce plus Oko is going to do a little bit. But they do eventually get to start attacking with the Fumarole, which is not, uh, not incredible. Uh, let's just animate our food. I'm actually just going to keep it back to block their land potentially here. I don't care about getting damaged in all that much. I'll spell pierce most things I can spell pierce just because, you know, this is losing value pretty quickly. Uh, flame slash my food. I mean, that's fine. That doesn't matter too much. Okay, sure, making a lot of food. Let's play Forest Pass. I mean, upheaval is not great when you have no ramp and uh, can't play anything afterwards, but we'll see what happens. Like, if they play any creature, we just Oko it, and if they play any non creature, we have a Spell Pierce. It's like sort of a, a good thing, a good spot to be in. Oh, are they a storm deck? It's a lot of removal for storm. Let's draw. It's a lot of lands. Uh, do I want to make that into a beast? I kind of don't. I think I just make my food into a beast again. At this point, Oko's at 10, so I'm actually just going to attack. If they attack me with Fumarole, that's totally fine. I think pressure in their life total might matter a little bit here. One moment. Got an upset cat in the room, as is always the case. Come on, kitty. Commit my food. They're using a lot of spells to uh to deal with this stuff let's see so they're planning to use the other side of it i guess is the uh intent here okay god don't bump the microphone please i know it's exciting times in here um so i could spell pierce this but it doesn't really matter i'd rather spell pierce the follow-up here I don't know why they wouldn't just commit the Oko unless they're planning to like steal it or something. That that's a it's a bit weird. Marari conjecture, return instant to your hand. Ah, so they're gonna get the commit back. Okay. I suppose that's annoying, yeah. Uh, let's draw. If I could just draw one non-land. Oh, channel, huh? Does that count? This is interesting. So I can go channel upheaval. 
Can I even replay Oko if I do that? I go double green, double blue. Yeah, I guess I can. I can still hold up Spell Pierce. That's probably correct, even though it's a little bit weird here. All right, I'm going to try this. Okay, um, let's top all my lands, then make four mana here, I guess. Cast upheaval. Oh, I guess I could have used Oko first, but it doesn't really matter much. Sure, you can draw a card, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll go Island, cast Oko off of channel, give up my spell pierce here, make a food, and there we go. Discard one forest. This makes their hand a little bit worse, at least. I think I spell pierce this. Just could lead to some potential combos here that I want to deal with. Okay, they draw mana crypt instead. That's silly. I think for having nothing but lands this entire game, I, I, I've navigated it okay, but... How does this work? Exchange control of target artifact or creature you control with target creature and a punk controls. Okay, so I can't steal our mana crypt. Have I, I've, I've drawn the channel and I think the upheaval, and that's literally been the only two spells I've drawn this game. Cool. Um... Pretty sure I just elk the mana crypt here. Really don't want them accelerating, so they can have a 3 3 instead. They discarded a bunch of lands, a commit memory, and a Yawgmoth's bargain. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's the library. Okay, miscalc something, I guess. It's not good. Uh, let's make this into a creature. Pass. Still tough. Like, we just haven't drawn anything relevant, and they are still on the library here. Just managed to reset them a little bit. Obviously, we trade here. Yeah, I'll miscalc that. That's fine. Anything? Okay, that counts as anything. Uh, let's ancestral myself. God. Okay, well, Jace is at least decent here. They can probably kill it, but what can you do? This has been pretty incredible, honestly. So I can flashback Ancestral, flashback Upheaval if I wanted at some point. All right. Well, we do not have commit. I know that. And they've just discarded a Rakdos return. Cosima actually looking kind of decent here with as many lands as I have. Um, I mean, I'm probably still ancestral myself off the Jace here. That seems fine. They encounter it, whatever. 
I'll discard a land. Uh, it's Jace. Ancestral Recall. Cast it. Oh, okay. Mana Drain's good. All right. Uh, let's go Island. Relic. Uh, animate this food. Attack with the food. I feel a lot better about this with a uh, mana drain in my hand. Time warp? Yeah, that's fine. You can time warp. I guess he's going to try to make us draw new hands here. I'm just going to pass. Fine with that. I guess I'll use this. It really doesn't matter much, but snug him here. Technically correct play and all that. All right. Draw. Monolith's okay. Uh, let's attack. I guess I'll play Cosima now. Seems fine, right? Yeah, mana drain it. Okay. Uh, make a food. Plus on nothing. Play land and pass. And some small danger of decking here. <laughs> Mana Flare. I think I'm okay with Mana Flare. Uh, I'll just counter their untap effects. If they have any of that coming. Time Twister, yeah. I mean, I have to Mana Drain this, even though they're just gonna... Hold on, actually, cancel. I think now I have to exile the graveyard so they can't commit memory here. Um... Let's just do that, and then I'll manage in it. Well, hold on, undo. I guess I'll do this with green just in case this does end up resolving. Okay, Tinker's interesting. Then I'll manage in that. I don't know, maybe I'm even supposed to mana drain that, but like I lose the mana drain if I don't do it now, so it just makes sense. Ah, okay. They did have the wheel. I mean, that was not a four cards. It's pretty dangerous. All right. This isn't an incredible hand post wheel.
but they don't have that much to work with here. Get the sword them. <laughs> I probably just get the cast as blade steel. But yeah, if they drew well and I didn't, I don't draw anything. I could still win this pretty easily. It's a lot of draw sevens. Opponent deep in the tank here. Yeah, our turn unfortunately plays itself here. Okay, they're drawing cards. It's got to be good for us. Like, they're down to three cards. They need to win off of just what's left here. Managed to nab a lot of their stuff here. No more Lion's Eye Diamond, no more Crypt. They have a lot of interaction for a Storm deck. So I'm kind of interested in what their finish is here. Right, five mana. All right, I'm just gonna pause here. Our opponent's taking a long time to figure out what they want to do, so pause until they do. All right, our opponents come back and cast a desperate ritual. Let's see where that goes. Into Mind's Desire for the rest of their deck. Okay, let's. Let's see what's there in the rest of their deck. A Manamorphose, not an amazing play here. They're going to play it in response. Interesting. They have something in their hand that would make that good. And a Blackleaf Glyphs, okay. And then the rest of these just don't do anything, sure. So they have two black mana and a Blackleaf Glyphs they can play, but I think they've made a land drop already, not sure. Okay, what can they have for double black here? Can't think of much. Demonic Tutor certainly doesn't do it when you don't have a library. So we saw Mind's Desire. I don't, I'm curious what other win condition they have, because so far we haven't actually seen any way for them to win the game. Out of, and I mean, we've seen all their deck except six cards now. Right, they have a couple, they have like a Time Walk, they have some damage. They have a Yogmoth's bargain to draw their deck. I guess they can Rakdos return me maybe to death, but I don't know about that. All right, well, we managed to win that one. Um, so ideally we'd like additional pressure, but it's going to be tough. This could actually be a matchup where Ashiok's kind of insane. Uh, Ashiok against decks like that can be really strong, so I think I might Go for the Ashok Splash here. Uh, bring in a Watery Grave over an island. And then I think I cut one more island for a Swamp, maybe. Mm, no, I'll cut a Forest. All right, all right. We'll see how that works out. Uh, and as far as cuts, do we have anything that like interacts with creatures? They clearly don't have any creatures that we should care about. Probably just cut the Cosima. It's like really dorky. Seems fine. Sundering still seems good. Yeah, I think we'll just do it like this. Relic actually seems okay here. Possible they have some sort of Yawgmoth's will type shenanigans going. This hand looks familiar. Didn't, didn't we have this hand the first time last time? Well, I'm still mulliganing it. Sword of Feats of Hammond could be good against them, but I don't think it's quite the pressure we want. Okay, this looks better. A little awkward we can't cast this for fellows, but we get to go... Elves into Worn Power Stone, potentially. It's pretty decent. Water Grave, I guess, awkward with Titan, but that's fine. Um, 
So I have to decide what to get rid of here. It could be the Titan, it could be the Rafellos. Neither of them are doing much in this hand. I guess it's the Titan so I can tinker for it, potentially. The Rafellos I will be able to play at some point here, maybe. And if I have a lot of mana upheaval is already a good play. Yeah, let's do that. Suspend Bloom, sure. Okay, Forest is a decent draw here. Probably still play Power Stone over Rafellos, but just because they have a lot of removal. Pop this up over here so we can pay attention to it. All right. Oh, well, Signet's interesting too. Can't quite do everything, so let's just go Power Stone. If they don't counter it. All right. We need an extra blue, but this upheaval is looking like it's going to be pretty decent. No, they have blo they have bloom coming in next turn, which is scary. And they we know they have a mana drain as well, which is not fun. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I guess we'll just go signet into Rafellos here. All right, they're F six, so it looks like they don't have their mana drain at least. Play this, and pass. At least we have a lot of mana. Uh, we'll see what they can do here. Obviously they have Lotus coming in, so this could be a dangerous turn, but... Uh, we have artifacts and creatures as mana, so it seems like we're gonna get to keep at least some of it. If they like give us a new hand, that's pretty good. Do need some action here though. Or a blue land, a blue land would count as action. All right, there's the Mana Flare. Maybe he's supposed to play the off the Bloom, but I guess they're just gonna like, oh yeah, Time Warp, okay, sure. I mean, they have a ton of mana, let's see what they can do with it. Okay, Time Twister was not unexpected. Okay, that's pretty good draw for us. If they can't finish the game here, I think we're in good shape. We get the time warp, uh, play Jace, it's all good stuff. Although it wouldn't shock me if they had another wheel here, I guess, as many as they have. Okay, reconsidering. <sighs> All right. Yeah, we still don't know how they win the game. I mean, they could easily just have like a... Oh, God, they're through the time warp, sure. They could easily have like a tendrils that we just didn't see last game or something, but... Yeah, I don't know what their win condition is here. Sure, kill Rafellos. Not unexpected either, but... If we get a turn with Mana Flare, we'll, we'll be okay even if they kill our creatures. Unless they also kill our artifacts, and it's a little rougher, but it's not that bad. Okay, are they gonna just dump, kill my hand now? That's gonna make it worse, but it's not just dead. Yeah, I mean, that's what it looks like. They're just gonna Rakdos return us here, sure. Okay, I mean, they're down to two cards, and I haven't seen a win condition out of them, so... Oh, look, I drew a Tinker. That's pretty good. Um, Yeah, I mean, I'll just cast Tinker. I actually want to get a Sundering Titan. Let's see. Eliminates Island, Swamp, Mountain. Hmm. No, they have so much mana with Mana Flare. I don't think it matters much. Uh, let's just get 
blade steel. Could actually get sword of feast and famine hilariously, but I, I'm just gonna get blade steel, whatever. It's fine. Oh, cats. Alright, here we go. I mean, they gotta answer this now, so. We'll see what they can do. I guess they can buy an extra turn by just blocking. Not overly worried about that. All right, they have another big spell. Another X spell? What's this nonsense? What could this be? It's very expensive, whatever it is. All right, sure, they're going to come in the blight steel. That's fine. I mean, are they going to make us draw new hands again? Like, I'm in. I guess they can, if they can recycle back to wreck this return again. Oh my gosh, cats. Apologies, everyone. Cats are, uh, oh, they did have a tendrils. They're going to tendrils me for three? Sure, I guess. And then try to attack me to death? Okay. One, two, three, so that's six, seven, eight, nine. So I can't recast the Colossus, so I guess I'll play Nissa and use it here. So he did have a Tendrils, but they used it there. That's weird to me. Play my land. This is a bizarre game. Just gonna pass. Okay, they keep just having spells that cost a million mana. I don't know what's happening anymore. Okay, they've have, they have successfully burned me out with Rakdos Return and Expansion Explosion. Sure. Uh, okay. That was a bizarre game. Um, I think I'm still happy with, with what I'm doing. Uh, I feel like we're overall advantaged here, but yeah, that was a heck of a game. They took three turns in a row. That didn't help. So we know they have the tendrils now, uh, and then their their other win conditions just burn you out with some X spells and a lot of mana. Not unreasonable. I'm like sort of looking at this duress. Oh, I think it's too late anyway, but I think with as little black man as we have, it's probably not correct. Uh, this looks fine. In fact, they always have removal for a fellow. It's a little bit awkward, but whatever. I think I'll open on untapped breeding pool, even though it like signals things pretty hard. But if they have a mana crypt, which we know they have in their deck, I do want to counter it. So this is fine. Okay, I didn't have it. Or they didn't chose not to play it at least. Uh so the question is I go Grim Monolith or Rafellos, but I guess Rafellos makes more sense. Well actually I could just pass here, hold up spell peers, then go Rafellos next turn. Just because I'd really like this Rafellos to survive so I can get some sword hits going. Hmm. Maybe I go Monolith this turn, then Rafellos hold up Pierce next turn, because they 
don't look like they can re remove uh, Monolith very well. I think that makes sense. They're not likely to like go off turn two here. I mean, they could, but. Cool, so now we can go Forest, play Ruffellos. Now they have like Mana Drain or whatever, we have Spell Pierce. If they have a removal spell, we have Spell Pierce, it's all good stuff. Oh, Oka? Oka's not bad. Um... I mean, I'm just going to go for the sword if, if they can play around spell peers by having like exactly one mana removal, then too bad, I guess. But if they can, this is like pretty insane. So let's go monolith for three. Play sword. And I guess I'll play a signet. Why not? Quip. All right, it's pretty nice. We get to untap our lands here, make an Oko. It's all good stuff. Fast bunch, sure, reasonable discard. Uh, and I'll go Oko. I think I just animate my monolith. I'm not untapping it anytime soon. Representing the spell pierce pretty hard, but like it's a lot of pressure. Kozilek? Can I cast that? This taps for three. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm a little short. Okay. Um, how much do I care about that versus just like attacking them more with signets? I think I'm okay. Let's just make maximum pressure happen here. Puts them on pretty quick lethal. Commit my Rafellos. Like, I'd prefer if you didn't, but does it matter that much? That puts them at 10 instead. I think it's worth piercing that. Just make him take a bunch of damage here. Okay, discard tendrils, sure. It's a pretty tough spot for them, like... They go into... Like, they could play Mana Crypt, double their mana, draw sevens, and quite get there. Anamorphos, sure. Like maybe do some ritualing as well. Yeah, there's the ritual. They're doing some response to the ritual. Expansion on the ritual. Okay, so you have six mana. Sure. You're just going to wheel now. Nope. Okay. All right. Managed to beat Storm there. That was a crazy match. Uh, took a while, but 
We managed to get there in the end. I'll see you for round number two. All right, here we are for round number two. Uh, this is an exciting hand, but it's certainly a keepable one. I'll probably play Breeding Pool tapped here. Yeah, especially against a blue-green deck. Because uh, getting Relic out isn't that important. I know I can seal the mana, mana drain a little bit here. Ooh, okay. Well, that changes things. I guess I'll just play Island then. We'll see what happens from there. All right. I'll spell Pierce most things here. Okay, maybe not that. Even though maybe that was correct. I don't know. Depends what their follow-up is. Leovold? Ugh. All right. I guess they have a Leovold. That's pretty disgusting. Okay, Power Stone's fine. Um, God, Leovold, really? I don't know. Maybe I was supposed to spell Piers the Mox Emerald just to slow them down, but... Um... Yeah, I'm going to pay life for this and play a Signet here. They just do a draw seven here. I'm going to be real upset, but... Brainstorm fetch, sure, that's pretty good. Next is probably Power Stone, Hollow Pierce. The good news is we're going to have enough mana that by the time we get to actually use this mana drain, we might get the cast Kozilek, which is kind of cool, but really a lot depends on this follow-up they have here. A oh, Foundry, too. Okay, this is a colorful deck. And the Teferi bounce my Signet. Their deck's gross. I kind of want to scoop here. I just can't beat this Teferi, right? My hands are just all counter spells. Ugh. All right. Yeah, I'm really regretting not piercing the Emerald. Should have thought about that play a little bit more. Slowing them down by a turn would have been a pretty big deal. Now there's just a Teferi I can't beat in a million years. All right, we're done here. Uh, I could theoretically win that game, but that's just, that's too much. It's too much. All right, what's good against crazy super friends control here? Beast Within's okay. It can kill a Planeswalker. That's pretty relevant. Uh, so I don't hate that. Yeah, I'll cut Stupid Cosima and do that. All right, all right. I think we can win here, but that's pretty gross. That was a disgusting start. Uh, I would like to play first. I would not like to keep this hand, though. I mean, like, I have to keep this, but obviously it's awkward. I think Forest is still correct. Hopefully we just draw an island and things are great, but if not, we'll cycle the Miscalc and go from there. Hey, we drew an island. All right. Uh, so would I rather Ancestral right now or hold up Miscalc? I think I just Ancestral while I know it can, it's going to resolve. Seems good to me. Maybe I draw one mana play as well. Okay, I didn't. That's fine. Still hand, this hand's still not actually that good, but at least it has a couple of counters in it now. I have a Lotus? Come on. All right, apologies, I had to pause the video for a moment there, but our opponent Lotused out a bigger Lotus and then played a Jace, which is pretty disgusting, as usual. Um, so now I have to decide if I want to play, like, Grim Monolith, Worn Power Stone. They have so much mana next turn, it's pretty terrifying. So I kind of want to keep up with my counter spells. This hand's really not going anywhere. I think I'll just play Grim. Um, I have Spell Pierce, and in the worst case, I have Miscalc. I don't really want to have Grim Monolith do that, but. I 
our opponent with just two kind of insane starts here, so we'll see if we can come back. And our hands, like this hand in particular, like the Ancestral was nice, but then we just didn't develop into any action whatsoever. So hopefully it's something I can spell Pierce, but given they have six mana, it seems unlikely. It's just gonna make the fairy again. Okay, Ragnos Signal. I like that because that means they might filter it into something else and actually run out of mana for the spell pierce here. Just of course the cloud skate. Of course it is. Uh, okay. They're just gonna bounce Monolith, I assume. Could cycle the miscalc here. It's not looking like it's gonna be great. Okay, this is actually okay. They've done a really good job annoying the crap out of me, I'll tell you that much. Um, so I want to play Nissa. Nissa could theoretically get a sword attack in. Uh, they, they'll probably attack me, right? So they're not going to have a blocker, most likely. But it might be better, I have so many lands, it might be better to wait until this can just be a Planeswalker and just um, just play Power Stone for now. I have a hard time believing I'll be able to get a clean sword hit in here against them, so. Right. I mean, they might have run out of action, though Jace certainly helps with that. They chose not to attack with Lumbering Falls. I guess they don't have... No, they do have extra greens. They could have attacked with Lumbering Falls, and they didn't, which makes me think they might have a counter spell. Makes it think her a lot worse, but... Might have to go for it anyway. What am I even tinkering for? I guess... Sundering Titan's not even that good, honestly. I think I go Monolith Nissa here. That seems fine. I can see how much land I have played Nissa first. They want to counter it. It's not that big a deal. Grab a forest, play a forest, play Monolith. All right. A little afraid to play Tinker into all this enough mana here. I mean, they can live Jason Deluge if they want. That's not really a huge deal. I could be nice to keep this Nissa around. I'd like to get a sword hit in, but it's not really a huge, huge deal here. Oh, man. opponent has got quite the deck, quite, quite the brew here. Be really nice if this was an actual duel and I could sunder it away. But with the Gilded Lotus and like just hitting two lands isn't that big of a deal. Okay, there's Nahiri. So I could pierce that if I wanted to. But I guess I'm better off keeping the pierce for the counter counter here. I mean they can kill my power stones and really matter. This card Kozilek. I guess now they can flashback anything. This could actually work out okay for me because now they'll definitely attack since the uh, this has been shrunk. Yeah, kill my power stone. That's fine. Ah, they're not attacking still. All right, tricky opponent. Hoping they would attack so I could get a sword hidden, but I guess that's not going to happen. Uh, all right, well. Your channel, huh? Channel doesn't really do anything. All 
Alright, let's just review my Tinker targets. I'm pretty sure I know what they are, but... We got a Blight Steel, we got a Sundering Titan, and we got some mana artifacts. Okay. So, do I want to get a Sundering Titan here? It's just so not good is the problem. I could get... This is interesting. I could get Blight Steel and then attempt to equip up a sword to it the turn after. Because they can shrink it. It's like, what's one 11 11, right? So this will make it 13 13. So I guess if they have a blocker and they shrink it, it's still too small to actually kill them in a hit. But then I can start using it to kill their planeswalkers. Ugh. None of this feels good, I'll tell you that. I mean, I think that's the play, but it's not good. I think if I also want to play an equipped sword and try to swing it in the Hiri, but I don't really want to give them an easy way to kill this Nissa, considering it's about the turn of Blainswalker. So I think it's fine. Right. The probability this works is very small, but we'll try it. It's going to be Fracture, then you control magic. Yeah, that seems about right. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, As Blacey looks terrible against them, they have a Riftwing. Our opponent just has a really strong deck against us, unfortunately. And our counters just managed to never be up on the right turns. So these things happen. Uh, we're probably going to take an L on this one. I don't know what we could draw here. I guess upheaval would still work. Yeah, upheaval would be a good draw. Uh, almost anything else doesn't really do anything. Forest certainly doesn't do it. Um... I mean, I guess I'll make Nissa into a thing, get a legendary creature. I mean, I may as well play Sword. Doesn't do anything to not play it, so whatever, I'll play it. I imagine this will just immediately die, but whatever. Yeah, they have something, but they're playing around the spell pierce. Smart. I mean, sure, that doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter much. Yep. That'll do it. Oof, that was rough. Our opponent on just mono planeswalkers and control magic, like, ugh. I mean, to be fair, they had a Lotus, uh, so that's that's going to help, you know. But uh, All right, well, let's see if we can bounce back in the final match. I'll see you there.
Welcome back for the final round. We're going to be on the play. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to keep this. I get to spell Pierce and Miscalc a couple of plays, and if we draw a forest, Nissa gets a second one, and then we can go from there. I think this is definitely worth it. <clears throat> Alright, we'll probably can't spell Pierce that one. Ooh, that's nice. Um, let's just pass here. Probably will miscalc depending on what they play, or spell pierce would be even nicer, of course, if we can do that. Yeah, I'll spell pierce that one, and then ancestral myself here. Okay, drop a bunch of lands, that's not bad. There's Jace. Uh, I think we just pass again. I really just want to channel this Kozilek. And uh, I'd rather make sure that we can miscalc whatever they're doing here. Oracle. Yeah, that's a fine one to miscalc too. Sure. All right, let's go channel. Cast Kozilek for 10 life. Draw my cards. Draw Tinker. That's not particularly helpful. I guess I'll just cast Jace and pass here. Well, we'll see if they have removal or anything for the Kozilog. They do not. All right. Nice quick game there. Two counter spells on channel. All right, well, we're playing the blue-green mirror. That's going to make our Sundering Titan quite good, but we have to find a way to kill some of their ramp here, which we don't have, turns out. Tarka? Is this... Is this oh, actually, wait. Sort of Body Mind and Jita both look kind of nice here, huh? Yeah, this might be the equipment round here. All right, Cosima getting out, as always. Um, yeah, both the pro green swords look good, and I think GTA is pretty nice too against man elves and stuff. Might take out spell pierce. We obviously counter cultivate there, but for the most part, these decks don't run a lot of non creatures. Though they could like nab a planeswalker or something, but I think this is okay. Yeah, this looks good to me. Oh, I should have maybe cited out Relic, but... Yeah, I'm going to mulligan. This one doesn't really do anything. All right, this one's better. don't think I particularly want to Kozilek. Obviously, I'll just draw channel immediately and regret all my decisions, but what can you do? Okay, well, this is the problem with putting too much equipment in your deck, I suppose, but... Hopefully, we'll draw a creature to hold these at some point. Depending on what they do and what I draw will determine if I want to play the Signet or not. Just in case of Courage High Bell there. Is they going to be able to play a 4 drop next turn? I draw Ruffellos. Okay, well I'm going to play Signet then because I do want to be able to play the Ruffellos so I can try and equip a sword on it. it just means this Miscalc is not getting a lot of value this game. Monolith, sure. Is it into a five drop? You're just in some mana dork. Into a four drop? Oh, into Rex. Okay. Like, that's mildly annoying and all, but why tap the Monolith for it? You have no follow up? That was an odd play. Getting a Monolith out and then immediately tapping it. And then floating a mana. I guess they really wanted to keep blue up. Yeah, that's the only thing that makes any sense, right? Is they wanted to keep up blue for like a spell pierce or something. Okay, well now we can't play Rafellos. I'm not gonna play a sword over holding up Miscalc. Especially as they're representing that blue like really heavily here.
in sure I can't do anything about Fendhorn Elves. Or Elvish Mystic. Alright. <sighs> this is annoying. Yeah, by the time we get the Scruffellas into play, it's going to be too slow is the problem now. Just getting beat down by a team of dorks, I imagine. Maybe they're deciding they want to play around like a Venser or something. Alright, they're not afraid. To Hex Drinker? What in the world is happening right now? Sure, has a counter on it. Has two counters on it. Can't do anything about that. Okay. Lands, lands, alright. So, this gets to be a 6-6 six, six at 8 plus, which they can do next turn. So we get hit for 6, 7, 8, 9. It's going to be pretty hard to win from there. Might just lose to random Hex Drinker, because they can level it up, hit me. Yeah. I guess that means I'm playing Rafellos for sure. So I'm just dead to this, right? Because they're going to level it. They're going to attack me, I take a million damage, and then this has protection from everything, so like playing swords or whatever doesn't accomplish much. So we're basically on upheaval or bust, I think. I guess time warp could do something as well. I'll still play the sword. I don't know what they could have that I would miscalc that would change the outcome of this game, so this is fine. This way, if we get specifically Time Warp, this is, like, kind of decent. Okay, they didn't level the Hex Drinker. That actually helps, sort of, although it means they might have a 4-drop here, which is less good. I guess I need to level it next turn. I'm at six. So I'll just die. Okay. They just have like a. Yeah, it looks like they just have a removal for the sword, which is mostly not that relevant. They. Uh, yeah. I'm going to try to equip this, because why not? I guess I'll play my other sword, too. Yep. I guess I really shouldn't show them all these swords, because I'm just dead anyway here. But, whatever. This card in Emrakul. Yikes. So they might have a channel too. Uh, okay, that didn't accomplish anything. I guess I'm cycling this miscalc. Okay. It's six. Yeah, I'll pass here. If they somehow don't level this up, then I could chum block it with the Shark Typhoon. I imagine, imagine they just will. It has protection from instant, so I can't even do anything in response, but there's a chance that's not what they go for. I don't know. All right, they found the line. Let's scoop here. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, still not much else I can do. Maybe I need some. Maybe I need the stupid Cosima just to carry equipment around. Maybe I need to cut a non-creature spell here. 
Yeah, I'll cut stupid relic. Relic's garbage. Let's get rid of it. I have extra equipment though that I can tinker away, so. Definitely possible this game gets decided by uh who draws their channel combo first though. Like if they have an Emrakul in the deck, there's a very high probability they have channel. I will play first. I mean, I keep this. I don't know how good it is, but here we are. Sure, we have an Arbor Elf. Chase is kind of nice. Hopefully he survives. I didn't see too much out of them that could remove creatures, really. Oh, they have the channel. Come on. I mean, I've done this to plenty of people, so I can't complain too much, but it's a little unfortunate to go out like this. Yeah, it's the Emrakul. Well, sometimes your opponent draws channel armor cool and you get killed. It's unfortunate. All right, I'll end up one and two in that one. Uh, some pretty painful losses, to be honest, but that's okay. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll recover that. There, there was some certainly some luck involved. Channel Emrakul, cool, that one, the uh, the Black Lotus. But like I said, this is this is what Vintage Cube is all about. Uh, I've certainly certainly cheesed uh, plenty of people out with Channel Emrakul cool and with uh, Black Lotus starts. So uh, it's only fair I'm on the receiving end of it sometimes, and yeah, you know that happens. So uh, nevertheless, had had a bit of fun there. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that as well, and I'll see you for the next one.